Oh well, everybody, Retro Guy Twenty Five here, back with another video. I know it's been a little bit since the last one, but here's the new one. Uh, if you if you can, if you would like to, uh, you could uh, you know, um, you could uh subscribe to me if you want to keep up to date. Uh, I would have to say like I like I've been saying in, in my older videos. Um. Nine out of ten times, uh, at least most of the time, that you're gonna put, most likely be notified right away if you hit if you set it up for all notifications for that bell notification, and hit the like button, hit the like button please if you like this video, and all my other videos you know if you if you would like to like it and whatnot and uh you know. Enjoy this video for now. So yeah, uh, I got a topic to talk about. You may know what it's about already because then again, um, this title is going to be uh, uh, about one subject that you know that some people might be surprised about or might like about this topic. But you know, you already know the name, so let's get to the point. Um, now, uh, I got my hands right here, Is it, you know, I'm pretty sure you know what, what it's about, so, yeah, um, what I got my hands here is this, the Sega Genesis Mini, the first one, the modern one, Genesis Mini. Now, a lot of people was buying this. It's about, it didn't sold as well, but it's so pretty good. It's not as good as what, what Sega was hoping for, but you know. Anyways, uh, this one, the first one, now, pretty much because you know that there's a second one. Let's see, let's see that. Yeah, if I can get it to focus. But I don't know. But anyways, this is the official seal quality type down there. If it wasn't because of the lighting. Right, there we go. I think I got it now. Anyways, I told you what it was. So yeah. But anyways, but yeah, the Sega Genesis Mini, the first one. Um, but yeah, the first one came with 42 games total. Uh, two of them being bonuses. Um, so yeah, 40, but 42 because of the two bonus games. As you can see right there. So yeah. Right there, these are all the games. But yeah, um, now Sega has made some pretty good quality stuff back in the day, eighties, nineties, early nineties, late nineties. Somewhat pretty good overall. Not super good, but good enough that they still kept themselves in business. I mean, even today they're fur party now, but you know. You gotta think, Sega was, you know, doing pretty good from back in the old days. But, you know, in today's time, now, it's like, you either hate them or love them, one of the two. Or a mixture of both. So, you know, yeah. But anyways, um, just to let you all know about this. Just to let you all know about this. Trying to adjust this this right, but sorry about that, everybody. But yeah, this this thing right here, um, the Sega Genesis Model Two, I mean Model One, uh, Mini, uh, so from what I looked up, from what I could find, I guess one point five million units sold, uh, I guess worldwide. So I guess. If you count just the United States, it did alright, but not, but not nearly as good as, 
the original hardware and stuff back in 1989 uh, when it when the original hardware came out but yeah I mean they were hoping it was sell better but I, I don't know I think it probably would have sold better if they would have included two uh, six button controllers right from the get go and a power adapter and maybe a few more titles like top hit titles then maybe it would have sold more than 1.5 million units worldwide it could have sold 5 million units worldwide you know maybe that won't be maybe enough but you know it would have been a lot better than one and a half million you know a shade under 2 million units so yeah so, the thing is, this is getting a sequel, which is the modded 2, okay? The modded, the modded 2, um, Genesis. Um, now, the Sega Genesis Mini 2 is basically the, the Genesis Modded 2 Mini. Just, uh. You know, but it's basically the same same stuff. It's that now it has Sega CD games, and it comes with a sys button controller, but only one controller instead of two. You know, but hey, you can still get get those. You can still get a second tr second controller from Retrobit or somebody or whatever. But it was still say Sega on it and stuff like that. And then Sega Genesis, whatever, you know, it, it, it's, it's pretty much like the real deal. It, was still, it, it should still work. The ones that were made for the Genesis Model 1 in hand by Retrobit, um, they're probably going to do, um, I mean, yeah, they're probably going to do it. They're probably going to work for the Model 2. It's, just, it's basically the same thing. But now with Sega CD games on there, Supposedly it might be a little bit more powerful because of certain specs and certain things, you know, and whatnot that you can just find out all the information that makes it more better. Uh, what's better about it, you know, I mean, there's not much of an update on it. I mean, it's revamped, yeah, in some ways, I, I guess, but other than that, uh, you know, they... According to Mad Little Pixel, and uh, he says that he's thinking that they might be making it more harder to hack because I guess they probably don't want you to hack it. They want you to play all authentic and stuff. But modders and hackers, you know, whatnot, you know, they're not going to care. They're going to try to do their best to to get it modded, to get it hacked, you know, of the Mini 2. And, you know, I mean, you know... It's like, you know, some people don't care about that, but there's a lot of people that does because, oh, they could have edited this game and edited that game. Well, you know, some people might say, well, I'm just going to deal with just the stock version of it. I, I don't care what they should have edited as long as it's good enough for me. Well, it may not be good enough for millions of other people, though, you know. So you never know. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty much just about all these minis that came out, even the ones that came out just before yesterday of the Genesis Mini 2 that just launched yesterday. Um, now, the thing is, uh, I don't know, I mean... It may not be hack day one. That's what Mad Little Pixel is basically saying. He don't think it's going to be a day one hack. It might take a week. It may take a year. I mean, we don't know. It may take only a couple of days. But, uh, you know, we don't know. I mean, depending on if it's even going to be possible. But chances are it's probably going to be possible. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, you can't, you, nothing's impossible. Uh, they say that some things in this world is impossible, that there's a fact to it that it is impossible, but I don't know. I believe that everything's possible. Just the only thing that I would have to say that's impossible is superpowers. 
I can't. I think that'd be impossible to get a, to to get the ability to do is superpowers, like Superman's powers, and you know, and like an incredible Hulk powers from David Bruce Banner or Superman versus Clark Kent. You know, um, you know. Okay, that probably that probably be impossible for you to have, for anybody to have. I mean, accidental powers that's been create that's got created into your body, or you got it from the sun. You know, this is bad, Carrie. You got it from you got it from the sun, and stuff like that. It's like um, I don't know. Uh, getting it from the sun. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and. But Superman, he's considered a, uh, a, an alien because he came from another planet. So he's, he's an alien to us. <laughs> you know what I mean? But on his planet, he's like us. But on his planet, got destroyed. But anyways, I'm getting on. I'm getting off topic here. Um, basically, some things may be impossible, but I would have to say, just about anything can be possible. Uh. Of anything that you want to create that you can do in reality, anything that uh, you want to accomplish, you know, can be possible. So, you know, make so coming out with a Genesis Mini 2, you know, since yesterday, I've launched, and everybody's gonna get theirs depending on when it comes to their place in the mail, you know. Everybody's going to have a different release date depending on where you're from and and how f and depending on where you live. Everybody's going to have a different uh a different delivery date, you know. So, it's like, yeah, um but yeah, uh it's like, you know, mine just shipped today, so it's going to take a little bit, you know. Yeah, I live in the United States, you know, and it's like, and it says Amazon's Japan, but supposedly, according to when I'm getting in the mail, it's not going to take very long, which, that's kind of odd. Like, you know, I don't know, unless they pay the extra their stuff unless that delivery fee that you pay that twenty one, twenty two dollars, you know, I guess helps to get it delivered faster. I don't know. Um but it says it's been shipped, so I, I'm all set finally. Before I was having trouble but I finally got it shipped and it says it's coming on this such day on this day and whatnot. So uh, of this year, obviously. I mean, I better hope so. It doesn't get delayed or something. And you gotta wait for a while for it, longer for it to come, to, to actually come in. But, you know, I don't think so. I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, it could. It could be sh shipping delays. Wait, they can ship it. And it says, it says it's shipped, but then it can be delayed, you know. Whatever, you know. So, you know. So, for an example, if you if you if it got if you bought it, say on the twenty sixth, and then it got shipped on the twenty seventh, you know, you're gonna get it after the twenty seventh, obviously, because it's gonna take time, you know, it's gonna take time to come in the mail, you know. I mean, it's gonna take a week, a couple of weeks, uh, depends. It could take a month for you to get in the mail. I mean, not everybody's gonna. Nobody's not going to get it on launch day. That's just when it launches out. That's just when it comes out. It's, it's the 27th, which was yesterday at the time of this recording. Uh, I'm going to try to upload this video today, which I usually upload my videos um, instantly after I get done recording them and whatnot. But anyways, the thing is, Mad Little Pixel is getting his... Um, uh, Genesis Mini 2. I'm getting my Genesis Mini 2. How many of you guys is to find me are getting their Genesis Mini 2? If you pre-ordered one. Or just bought one just now. Or when you're buying one. I mean. This is only going to be one tenth of them. And I. 
if my math is correct, it's only gonna be like um a hundred and fifty thousand. So that sounds rare. But if they sell all of them, like if they actually sell all of them, you know, get them all sold out by yesterday. At the time of this recording, since this is on the 28th at, of this recording. Um, now, if they sold out, right, right happened on yesterday, some point yesterday, then I guess they made their quota, you know. So, and they got the money for it, what, of all 150000 of um, which, which, five years from now, you know, if somebody resells it, it's probably gonna be a really expensive price. Instead of being a hundred dollars, or, whatever, it's gonna be. Two hundred dollars, like double the price, or two hundred fifty bucks, like, two and a half, times the price. You know. Then the hundred dollar point that you would want to spend, even though a hundred dollars for a mini is a little on the expensive side, but you gotta think, you know, a lot of things has been going up in price, and everybody's trying to keep up with the pricing and stuff of what's going on for everything else that's going up, you know. But you know, someone else can talk about that topic. I'm not talking about that, I'm just saying, you know, just for an example. But anyways, the thing is, this was pretty good. You know, this thing right here was pretty good. I mean, it got hacked. I finally hacked it at some point and added my own games. And, you know, and I haven't had a lot of fun with the games I added and the games that were built onto it, built onto it and stuff. You know, it was, you know, a pretty good, decent thing. You know, so, and, you know, 30th anniversary, so they probably figure that's when they probably, that, that's why they probably did the whole thing, because of the Genesis 30th anniversary, that's probably the way they did it, and then now, this year, okay, this year, it's the Mini 2, which is after... But since they're basically doing another Genesis that plays the same stuff that it would be compatible with playing, uh, except now Sega CD games uh, built on it. You know, so it's a little different, but, you know, uh, no, the library to me is uh, kind of back and forth, but I decided to get it because of one of the reasons. One, it's because this nostalgia of Sega Genesis uh, of owners, which I didn't own one. I kind of was just using uh, my mom's and uncle's Genesis Model 2, but I felt like it was mine because it was in my, my own room a long time ago when I was a kid and I felt like I, I just treated it like mine and I swept a few games, not many, maybe 10, 15 games. I mean, just a handful of games, maybe a dozen games at most, like 10, 12 games, you know, that many. And, you know, and I played them over and over again, and I loved just about all of them to death. And it's nostalgia reasons, you know, like, I like the Mod of 2 look, because that's the one that I grew up with. Mod of 1, the Mod of 1 look is pretty good. I mean, it looks good even on this box right here. But, you know. But, the uh, But, the uh, thing is. Is that. Uh, the Model 2 look. Looks pretty darn cool. I mean. They figured to do the Model 2. And if they succeed of all 150,000 of them get sold. Really quickly. Always quick enough. And it succeeds enough when they, if they sell them all and don't have any left over, then maybe they might come up with a 
32X Mini. You know, like, like it's a 32X standalone console, but it's a Mini that it plays nothing but 32X games, but then you can play Hacking and play other Sega, Sega games as well. It'd be just like a Never Genesis, but with, but it's 32X. Uh, maybe they might do uh, a Sega CD Mini, like it's the the CDX Mini, maybe, and you get the and it has like say forty CD C Sega CD games, and one of them, Fireman Six, if it becomes Snatcher, if Konami be like, okay, sure, we put Snatcher on that Mini, you know, oh, they put it, they won't put it on the. Genesis Mini 2, but yeah, they put it on the CDX, the Genesis CDX, um, Mini. But then, all of a sudden, it's $150 just for all the Sega CD games built into it already. You know, which, that'd be pretty pricey, but that's just guessing. I don't think it'd be that high, but who knows? You never know. Uh, nothing can't be super cheap anymore. I mean, I mean... Last time something was super cheap was back in the 1950s, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, you know, you never know. But, you know, it could be the same price as the Mini 2, which is 100 bucks. you know. And you gotta think that's probably a good deal from what you were getting out of it, you know what I mean? I mean, that sounds like a good deal to me. Some of you may, may be like, eh... Maybe so and so, and some of you be like, "No, that's too much." Thumbs down, you know. So everybody has their own opinions, but yeah. Um. But anyways, um. But yeah, so, um, the Sega Genesis Mini Two. Uh, I'm getting it. Maybe Pixels getting it. Maybe Metal Jesus might get it. I don't know. John Riggs might might have pre-ordered it. He might do a review on this channel. Uh, who knows? Um, any of the Metal Jesus crew members might do it. You know, like, especially Radical Reggie. You know, I like that guy. He's pretty cool. Yeah. You know. I mean. Anyone could do a review about it. Um, you know. Other people, YouTubers, big time YouTubers are big enough, you know, bigger than me, of course, on YouTube here. Might do a review about it, show off some of the games, just for, just to give us some examples. And, you know, Modern Ventures Gamer, he might do, Modern Ventures Gamer, he might do, like, um, a review on it. You know, if he gets one, I mean, you know, because he likes all kinds of gaming stuff like that. Um, he may do, um, a review and comparison videos of real hardware versus the emulation and how good it is that how good M2 did their stuff and compared to the original hardware, you know, he does he does. He looks deep into it and shows you the differences and so like that. And you know, Martin Bench, Martin Bench is a gamer. You know, he does pretty good with his kind of video. So, you know, um, yeah, he might he might do something about that. He might make his own video about the Genesis Mini too. Who knows? Already done it one. He might. You know, anybody out there. You know, might might do some kind of comparison review video or something. You know, whatever. So, yeah. And they're going to give their honest opinions, which I would think they would. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to give my honest opinion on it. I might do a re review on it. And I'm going to give my honest opinions about it after, you know, and a review on it. Um, After, I have to say, after, um, after, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, after uh, I play around with it for a little bit, for a few days or so. I don't know, but yeah, um, maybe I get a review on it. I don't know, but I just want to talk about it because I'm excited at least a little bit. 
I'm gonna still have nostalgia of because it's the model two, you know. We're not we're not quote quote, but you know, like it's the model two, it's the model two Sega Genesis, but in miniature form, which basically is the same thing as the model one, except the model one has some differences to it, you know. But you know, still, I grew up with the model two, so. Who knows, I might do a review on the mini, I don't know. Not sure yet, maybe, I don't know. But yeah. Um anyways, um that'll be all for now. I catch you all later and uh yeah. Uh you you know what the video title is below the video. So yeah, please like if you want to like it and uh you know, so give it a thumbs up, you know, and, uh, su su subscribe and hit that all not notification bell so you keep up to date on all my videos, um, every single one, uh, my experience, I, I, it's 9 out of 10 times when I subscribe to other ones, cause some of them I, it, it doesn't let me know right away. It takes a while, or I might skip a day, and I and I, and I gotta, and I just and I gotta discover it myself, you know. So nine out of ten times is what I'm, is what I'm still sticking with, cause that's what it seems to be like, you know what I mean. So nine out of ten times, um, that's when, that's that's the most likely chance that I I would have I would have to say that you're gonna be getting notified. So, pretty much, almost every single time. Not, maybe not all the time. One of my videos, you might miss somehow. Even though you're subscribed to me and all notifications. So, you might miss one by a day. And then, it just so happens to pop up in your search. You know, and not in the search, but, you know, pop up in the... When you're scrolling for videos. You know, and you see it. Then, watch it if you want to. Because if you like my stuff, then you would watch it. Uh, if you want to watch it, you know. So, yeah. Um, and leave a comment down below, too. Uh, if you want to mention anything that maybe I I could have mentioned or in any of my videos or something, you know, that you can, you know... That you want to tell me your thoughts and stuff or whatever. Just keep it all respectful and, uh, uh, and, uh, I won't start an argument with you. Uh, if I do talk back to you, not talk back, like in a bad way, I mean, like, speak back to you, like, you know, um, like, comment back towards your comment or I'll just give you a thumbs up. You know, like your comment. Uh, I might give it a, a love. I might love your comment if I think I love it enough. Like if I really like it, you know. Um, give me your thoughts for the most part. Um, other than that, if you got a question, go go. Feel free to ask a question, and I'm gonna answer it even if I have a hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, if I reach that high. By the end of this year, I'm still gonna respond to people if it's necessary, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, other than that, I'll uh, catch y'all later for now, and I, I, I I'll see y'all next time. So, see ya. And...